Okay, so I'll be now sharing my screen. Yeah, so that's my screen. Yeah, nakikita na ba yung NetBeans? Nakikita? Oh, wala. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. May mag-sumagot naman pa minsan, minsan para alam ko. Walang feedback. So, ito yung part ng NetBeans. So, mayroon tayong menu, mayroon tayong para navigation pane, etc. Diba? So, ito yung parang work area natin. Okay, so, wala ko namang defier para just in case na kailangan natin. So, let's create a new, pro a new project. So, paano mag-create ng new project dito? So, pwede file new project or Pwede rin ito. This will be for new project. So just click this one. Ayan. So new project na yan. Yung mga older version, nakalagay lang Java. Pero ito may Java with, pero ito ang ginagamit ko, Java with an. So yung kape may langgam. Yan yan. Pero ano ko kung bakit an. Okay, so now, so, pilihin lang ito and then choose Java application. Yun lang. Ang pipiliin dyan sa una. Actually, by default, iba rin ang napili. So, then we just click next. Tapos dito, yung pangalan. So, let's say for example, So I'm going to call my, our project J Option Demo. So dito rin, gawin kong ganun din. The same na rin yung pangalan ng project sa pangalan ng aking main class. So that's our main class. This is the project name. So yung iba, hindi nyo muna balitan. Unless, for example, meron kang ginamang folder kung saan mo gusto i-save yung mga outputs mo, then you have to specify that folder. Or you can just use the default folder nasa my document siya and then NetBeans project. So, I just be using the default folder. Okay? So, okay lang yan. And then, okay. Kung ulang. Project folder already exists. Ah, meron nang ganun. So, let's have another name. So, J option demo 2 na lang. I think yun yung ginamit ko doon sa video, yung J option demo 1, ay demo. Okay, so I have PJ option demo 2, pinatang ko lang ng 2. And then I'll just click finish. So I have it now my source code. Fonts. Try kung pa lakihin yung font. So, let's try kung pretty poor. Yan. So, para mas malaki yung font natin, mas kitang kita sa uh, video. Okay. So, we're going to use J option pane. So, the first thing you have to do is to import the package na natin yung J option pay. Uh, I think na dyan yun. Nasa javax.swing. Yata. Okay. So, uh, I'll be removing this one now. So, ano mga variables natin? Okay, so what I did here 
is to declare the variables. So since sabi ng program natin, we will be entering three values. Ito yung input natin. Then we display the sum and the average. So tandaan ninyo, yung mga gagamitin sa input, gagamitin sa output, siguro malamang gagawa ng variable yan. And then most probably, tingnan natin sa processing, baka may kailangan variable pa. But uh, minimum, kung ano yung gagamitin mo sa input and output, halos yan yung mga igagawan mo ng variable. So first is, paano yung takbo ng program natin? So una, kukunin yung inputs natin, di ba? Yung mga i-enter natin na value. Then next will be, kunin yung sum. So kunin yung sum. So halos ganyan yung takbo ng ating program. Ang unang gagawin, kunin yung mga inputs, kunin yung sum, kunin yung average, and then display lang yung output. So dito, kukunin ko yung unang one, but using J option paint. So I... So, paano yung input sa ano? So, ganun yun. Show input dialog. Then after that, ilagay lang yung prompt dito. Okay. So, yan yung ating kwan. So, tinan nyo, mayroong error siya. Pero, explain kayo mamaya. So, J option pane. So, it is a class. Kaya, application J. So, that means it is a static method ito. The J option pane that show input dialog. That's the method. So, ito yung pagkuha ng input. Kaya lang itong pagkuha ng input na ito, ang output niya, or yung makukuha niyang input, kahit na number yung pinasa mo, is actually string. Okay? So, yung string, hindi pwedeng ilagay sa integer. That's why if you notice, mayroon tayong red na wavy lines dito. So, pag ipopoint na itong nandito na exclamation, sabi niya, incompatible types, string cannot be converted to integer. So, what we're going to do here is to convert what we're going to enter from string into an integer by using Yeah, integer that parse in. So, you open yan, it close yan dito. Okay? So, ang ginawa natin dyan, yung input natin, i-convert niya into an integer, and then, yung integer na yun, ilalagay niya sa i ng 1. So, the same yung pagkuha nung susunod. So, I'll just copy paste this one. So, uh, I just copy it and paste. So, ito yung... So, yeah. Ang ginagawa natin is to get the input. So, using J option pane. Okay, so ilalagay dito po po tangayin yung mga values. And then we get the sum. So yeah, we get the sum. And then we get the average. So since there are three values, we divided by three. We have now the average. Diba? So next, we display the output. Ah, ito. Uh, ang gagawin ko ngayon sa output, i-join join ko muna yung mga... Kasi in the form of string, if we're going to use J option P, yung string ang gagawin nating output. 
that's why I'm going to introduce here another variable. So I'm going to call it str output. So equal to Okay. So how do I display the output? So yung mga magiging output natin. Uh, first, yan yung first line. Sum is equal uh, plus I sum. Okay, so anong gawin natin dyan? Sum equals, yan yung lalabas yung sum equals kasi string constant siya. Plus I sum kung ano yung value ng sum na lang doon. Pupunta dito, i-join na dito. Box last n, pupunta sa next line. Diba? Doon sa output dyan. Pero dito, lagi ko na sa next line yan. So, pwede ganyan. Okay? Sum equals yung sum, baksas n, average equals i average. So, what we're going to do now is display this output using J option pane. So, ito show, hindi siya input dialog, kundi show message dialog. Yung null dito yung container pero wala na naman container kaya just put null and then str output. So kung ano yung nandito, yun ang i-output ng ating j option pane. Okay? So yan. Let's now using j option show input dialog and j option pane show message dialog. So yung show message for output, yung input dialog obviously is for input. Okay? So let's try to run the program. So, we run natin yung program. Hopefully, wala na siyang error. Ayan. So, ito yung, ito yung, kuhan. Ayan. Ayan yung itsura nung J option page show input dialog. Okay. So, I can paste here a number. And then, click OK. Ayan. So, second number na raw. Let's say, I'm under 12. Next number. 1, 2, 7. Pag-click ko ng OK, ayan. So sum equals 6, 8, 9, average is equal to 2, 2, 9. Yan yung ating output. So ito yung show message dialog. Yung kanina yan yung show input dialog. And then we just click OK. Okay. So yan na yung paggamit ng J. Option pane, uh, siguro hindi ko muna pagawa sa inyo yan. Although, pero maka later on, kailangan natin itong kahit yung mga show message dialog for yung mga pop-up messages natin. Kasi later on, ang gagamitin natin sa input, hindi rin ito. Ang gagamitin natin yung sa GUI interface, which you will be viewing today. Tingnan nyo yun, and then yung ginawang output doon sa kwan, Yung ginawang output doon sa video ay gayahin ninyo. Kaya hopefully habang habang uh, pinapanood, ginagaya na lang. Okay? So, stop ko na itong share. Uh, Magka meron kayong i-screenshot nyo just in case. So, yan. Screenshot ko muna. Yan yung first part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay na. Second part. Ayan, paano magkawita hanggang last. Okay na? Okay. Then third part. Yung 
output. Okay, so I'll just I'll stop sharing now. Stop ko na rin yung record.